So I got this email from one of my subscribers asking if he should become an information systems technician. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today, guys. Welcome back to the Black Heights channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, guys, do me a stone cold favor and stump on that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, in this video today, we are going to be discussing an information systems technician. We're gonna talk about what it is, how to become one, the salary behind it, the skills you need, and the education. Now, let's get to the video. So what is an information systems technician? Well, I'm going to tell you. An information systems technician is someone who works in IT and they work on computers and communication systems. They also build networks and databases, maintain internet sites, install hardware and software, and develop programs and protect systems from malware and provide a technical support for all of these systems and for system users. And these guys may work in a various amounts of organizations, large, small, mostly small, unless it's with the government, but they work with other members of IT, including programmers, IT specialists, software developers, and more. So let's now talk about the education you will need if you want to become an information systems technician. Well, there are several education requirements for an information systems technician, but the majority of them either study business, computer science, computer information systems, or management information systems. 42% of information systems technicians hold a bachelor's degree and 26% of them hold an associate's degree. And you don't necessarily need a bachelor's degree, but the majority of them do have one. And there are folks who enter this field who have just a GED and certifications. And if you were going to get a certification, the most common certification to get into this role is a certified information technology professional certification. And the most common colleges for folks who wants to get into this role are University of Phoenix, as well as the University of Houston in Houston, Texas. So let's now talk about the skills that you will need to become an information systems technician. We've already talked about the education already and what they do. And if you're still on this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, it does help us defeat the YouTube algorithm. But let me tell you this, the skills that you're going to need for this role are things like customer service, being able to email, technical support, the ability to troubleshoot, and some information technology skills. But the most important skill that you're gonna need, and this is why I tell people all the time, to work in a customer service role, whether that is in a hardware store, like I did when I was in college, I had to basically do customer service, walking folks to hardware tools and selling them tools, answering a bunch of questions. That is what customer service does. But if you guys don't know what customer service is, let me just tell you exactly what it is. It's basically the process of offering assistance to all or current or potential customers, answering questions, fixing problems, problem solving, all that is part of customer service. And if you have experience in this role, there is a highly likely chance that you can get into an information systems technician role because the main goal of customer service is to build strong relationships with the customers to keep them coming back for more business. So let's now talk about the salary of an information systems technician. How much bank are you gonna make? How much dough are you gonna bring in a year? Well, information systems technicians in the United States 
make an average salary of $57,000 per year. That is roughly $27 per hour. And people on the lower end of the spectrum, the people who are entering the IT field, the bottom 10% to be exact, make roughly around $41,000 a year, while the top end, the folks who have experience, make around $79,000 a year. And guys, the career growth of an information systems technician is pretty awesome. Between 2018 and 2028, the career is expected to grow 10% and produce 83,000 job opportunities here in the United States. Now, I'm going to tell you what sort of roles that you should be looking at to become an information systems technician because some companies don't call this role an information systems technician. But for the jobs that I found out there, one of the same or the equivalent of information systems technician is an IT coordinator, an IT user support specialist, a system support technician, an information services support technician, and a help desk tier one. So if you think about all of these different names, they all fall under an information systems technician role and they typically pay around the same. So guys, as the video that I made before about the help desk being an entry into IT, in fact it is, and this is one of the roles that you can get to open the doors and give you opportunities into IT. And this is one of the first ones that you can get into. Now, as far as companies that hire or create information system technicians, the majority of the roles are in the United States Navy, United States Army, and the United States Coast Guard. Another company that hires these folks is Robert Half, which is an IT consulting firm. One other thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is the demographics for an information systems technician. And the average age of an information systems technician is around 43 years old. And the gender breakdown is 68% male, 27% female. So there's obviously a lot of males that's working in this role. And you can quite honestly find your wife at work if you date at work. I don't recommend it, cause nothing but troubles. But if you are female, you can find your husband. I, again, I don't recommend dating at work. But if you are gonna go outside of my recommendations and choose to date somebody at work, this is the type of role where you can actually find your husband or your wife. Now, they probably would be geeks or IT people, but again, combining your salary there, making $57,000 a year times two, shoot, that's a good amount of money that you guys would be bringing in and you can definitely live a comfortable life together. Now, let's talk about the diversity in the role. To be quite honest with you, there's not a lot of diversity in IT in general, but in an information systems technicians role, the majority of people there are white. 72% of them are white. 11% is Asian, 7% is Hispanic or Latino, and about 6% is black. So guys, if you are black and you go into a role like this, you're gonna be working around people who don't look like you, but that's just fine. You're gonna to have to get comfortable with that. That's the United States in general. And if you are some other race, you might fit in, who knows? But just know that 72% of the folks working in this row is white. With a $57,000 salary, you can afford quite a bit of things. You can afford a nice house, roughly around $270,000. So guys, that is a pretty decent salary. You can afford a nice car. You wouldn't be riding around here in the bins unless you're just stunting and blowing away money. And that's not what we do. And that's not what we encourage. We encourage you to save your cash and to grow your wealth, take some of that money put it into real estate, pull it into the market and make more money. So you won't have to do a job like this forever. But as I mentioned, this is an entry level role that is great for people looking to get into IT, people to learn about IT, to experience what it's about. But it is one of those roles that I would consider to be a jack of all trades. And quite honestly, 
$57,000 a year if you are doing all of the things that I have read that they do. It should be a little bit more. But who's to say who's right in this situation? I just think if you're doing hardware installs, software installs, system support, all of those other things that I named off, customer support, you should be making a lot more money. But then again, the job growth is growing and people are needed. And maybe people do make a lot more money than that. And I'm just not in tune to it. But the average salary that I've researched is $57,000 a year. And it's quite decent. So is this a long-term role for you? Well, it is if you want to be in a role like this and make up to $70,000 a year. If you don't have much ambition or if you want to tell end of your career and you just want to coast and make a decent amount of money and not work too hard. If you are somebody who's very ambitious, this is a role that you want to consider for maybe two to three years to continue to grow your role. And the next step in line after you become an information systems technician is a system administrator, an information technology manager, and an information technology director. So there's many career paths that you can follow in order for you to continue to grow and make more money. As I said, this is just the beginning of it. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these points that I have made in this video today, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button because we want to grow this channel. Also, if you like this sort of content, hit that subscribe button in that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all. Peace.